Mark and Kathleen Frank. Now, Mark and Kathleen Frank are the creative force behind Renaissance Glass, and they're located at the Picker Artist Building. They have been creating all original stained glass pieces for decades out of Nashua. Hi, my name is Mark. And my name is Kathleen, and we are Renaissance Glassworks here in Nashua. We are a custom stained glass studio. Uh, we specialize in custom residential stained glass, but we also teach classes. Well, a lot of times people come in with an idea or maybe saw something on Facebook or our website that they liked, or they'll come in and see things that we have hanging here, and they'll tell Kathleen what, she's, what they're looking for size-wise, and then she designs everything. So everything is custom designed. Uh, very rarely do we do something from a picture, although people have brought us pictures of, you know, uh, coves in Maine and, you know, pictures of mountain ranges, and then Kathy adapts mm -hmm. them into a doable piece of stained glass. If they have an idea, you know, obviously I'll take, take their idea and put my own stamp on it. Sometimes they have no idea what they want. They just say, you know, we have this weird window in a closet or something, and, you know, we want to put something decorative in there. And so I'll just run some ideas by them and and um, come up with something that way. Usually it takes me a while just to think on it, you know, and get some ideas, which I usually wake up with in my head in the morning, like all of a sudden I'll be like, oh yeah, that's it. And I'll start with usually thumbnails. I'll just sit down with, you know, pencil and paper and just start doodling until I see something that I like and then I'll kind of refine it and, you know. Then she blows it up and, you know, enlarges it full size by hand. Uh, no computers used. For stained glass, um, you really have to know how to do it to design for it because it's very limiting as far as lines go. A lot of times you'll see stained glass that has random lines that look like they don't belong there. But they have to be they there don't. structurally. <laughs> uh, Kathy's yeah. very talented at working around that. I like that. to make every line look, look deliberate like it, like it was there. meant to be there. She's very good And at that's it. not always easy. And then once Kathleen has a design done full-size, we bring them back in, we pick out glass. We help them pick out the glass because a lot of times they have no idea. We kind of ask them what they like, what they don't like, and then we'll work them into the designs. <laughs> and from that point, I take over, I cut all the glass, make sure everything fits. Kathleen, if we're lighting it, I do the lighting. If we're going to do copper foil method, Kathy does the foiling, and then she does all the soldering. And then the piece is complete. Normally it takes six to eight weeks depending on the size of the project. I also tend to hoard glass. If I come across old glass, I find a place to store it. And I'm constantly digging through boxes of old glass trying to find it. We do repair and restoration as well. A few of the glass companies that were around 150 years ago are still in business. So we're able to match it that way. Uh, the it's lead, amazing though, so, you know, how often he can match yeah. old glass in a window from what we have in our inventory. Just, yeah, it's, it, it's pretty cool. And yeah. most of the time, it, it's always close enough so that the people are like, I can't even tell which one you changed, you know. And the, the lead profiles are still all being made today, pretty much. We can get really close to lead if we have to replace the lead. A lot of times it's just the glass and I can reuse the old lead. So. And sometimes the sizes of the actual windows change between the time they were made originally and the time yeah, that lead we need to get them back to in a frame. Yeah. Um, so once you take it out of the wood frame, which was part of the structure, it tends to start to go flat and stretch. So then you have to trim either the frame back or the lead back, um, depending on the situation. We've done both. We use a lot of this beautiful handmade glass. Um, we normally can't hand pick it ourselves when we can. That's fantastic. But the factory is in Pennsylvania, and it's rare that we get there. So we called. I needed a specific color of glass for a job. And I think we had to order three sheets or something for them to ship it in the crate. So two of the sheets were great. We get one um, that was just crazy looking. One of them, they actually had to cut them in half. One half of the sheet was cracked in three pieces, but you could put them together like a puzzle. And I was like, oh. And it went from a real but deep it was purple beautiful. up into a, like a yellowish amber color. The color mix was like a violet, deep violet purple, like a really deep fuchsia pink, and then gold. Normally, normally, we like an even mix of all of that. This wasn't really mixed at all. It was purple, little pink in there, and then like gold. 
So I had it for a year, just sitting in this case. And once in a while, I would take it out, lay them out, put them together. And then one day, I just decided to like design just, something. Yeah, she comes in. She says, I know what I'm going to do with that glass. Sits down. Within an hour and a half, two hours, she has a design. Like I worked around those big those cracks. cracks and, um, and made really kind of cool. an impressionistic landscape with birch trees and rocks and things. And it looks like the woods at sunset. And it's gorgeous. I mean, we brought it up to Centipede last year, and everybody commented on it. I did put a really high price on it. Cause yeah, because really we can never We literally it. just did it right before the fair. And I kind of like pieces like that, unless somebody's willing to pay me a lot of money, I'd rather keep them for a while. Mm. Um, and at this point, no matter, no matter how much money, it's not going anywhere. It's now yeah, hanging it's in our now. house. Yeah. So. Just because I felt like it's so me, you know? And the, we, the edge of the glass has this rolled edge to it. So it's an uneven, not rough, but an edge. And we left that there. So the bottom of the panel has no edging on it. It's just the unfinished edge, smooth, but like really regular. Really a regular edge to the bottom, which is pretty cool. She's the artistic one. Yeah, you know, not really. I mean, if you know our work, you can tell my work a mile away. I, I definitely have. She has a style, definitely. Yeah, my own style. Um, we do a lot of nature stuff. Kathleen loves to draw nature outside nature stuff. And, and I try not to reproduce anything that I've seen, even if I really like something and admire it somewhere, I won't make it because I just don't like to copy other people's designs. Right. But, yeah, I like to do and my we're own we're also thing. part of the League of New Hampshire Craftsmen. Uh, we joined that almost 20 years ago now. And one of the things that you have to be when you join there is you have to use your own designs or if somebody from the League designs something for you to use, um, you can use their designs. So we really got away from trying to get too much from other people, you know so that we can use those designs and sell them through the shops in the league and through the fair up at Sunapee. We, we both grew up at the Jersey Shore and um, he went off to college. I just wanted to be an artist of some sort. So I was just playing around, trying things. And I got a job at a stained glass studio and that's where it all started. And then um, <clears throat> a few years later, we moved up to New Hampshire, needed some way to support ourselves. And we were doing this as a side, thing anyway kind of a side when line. we were working yeah. regular jobs back in New Jersey so when we came up here we just decided that there wasn't really any stained glass places up here so let's open one you know we were young 23 I think yep and just figured why not so that was a long time ago and so then we, yeah I mean it, it took off and um, you know we've managed to buy a house raise a family and have a, a pretty nice life you know we'll never get rich from this but it's really fun. We really enjoy what we do. We love yeah. coming here every day. And um, we spend a lot of time together. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of time. <laughs>